Fueled by Deathcast. And like you said, you've gotten to do so many characters from yeah. Disney, from Warner Brothers, from additional stuff on on all ty- types of things. Um, a has lot there, of Pixar movies. A lot of Pixar Disney Disney stuff. Movies, yeah. yeah. Has has there ever been? And I and I love asking voice actors this, like because you guys get to really stretch your craft, especially yeah. with directors and, and writing and that kind of stuff. Has there ever been a character that was tougher for you than others? Where Oh, it, yeah. Like something yeah. something that really was like, oh, I mean, not to say that you couldn't do it, but like really took more work than you thought would? Oh, yeah. Um, there's physical uh, that take more work, and they're just physical like, uh, I did something a long time ago where I was doing Wolfman Jack, if you remember the DJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That was that, that doing that, you know, that did, uh, Wolfman Jack sort of thing. I love it. And that constrained the voice yeah. physically after a while. Then there are the emotional ones. If they're like really screamy, and um, uh, heavy duty emotional, which you don't have to do too much of in uh, in animation. Goofy movie was about the most emotional we that I can think of right offhand. But um, sometimes, yeah, it can get uh, kind of taxing if uh, staying also in a character you're not uh, familiar with. Yeah, you have to kind of keep reminding yourself until it comes becomes sense memory on, okay, what would this character do and how would he say it and that kind of thing. Yeah. So sometimes it, it can get a little hairy once in a while wow. if you don't know the character that well. Coming yeah. up with your own original voice, I imagine that can be a little bit difficult as far as like the the possibilities are endless yeah. right yeah. but do you use like other influences like oh maybe oh, it's yeah. a little bit of this character mixed with this oh, character absolutely. mixed with this absolutely all the time um and sometimes you go on a gut feel other ones uh like uh, a lot of celebrities especially from like 1930s and 40s you can use again cuz people today don't know them yeah. billy west when he did ren and stimpy you know with uh, using peter Lorre. Right. he had the voice like this with peter and then as uh, Stimpy, like, you idiot, you know. All it is is taking that uh, character that he knew and expanding on it. Yeah. And so a lot of times you'll you'll do, uh, you know, impressions. And that's one great way to come up with voices is to do impressions of people you don't do impressions of. Ah. No one knows who you're doing, but it's in your, it's going to be something. Yeah. And you can use it. I, I One of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite voice actors outside of you, actually, <laughs> is um, from uh, 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 Rob Paulson. Yeah. Um, and he, I think, I, I forget exactly how he says it, but it's, uh, he, he says that he does a lot of, um, bad impressions of of you yeah. know famous people, and that is what turns into some of his most iconic characters. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. When I first came out here, I took classes from uh, Dawes Butler, who was oh a great gosh. voice actor yeah. who did all the Hanna Barbera stuff. Yeah, and he was telling me like Yogi Bear was a guy he knew in Chicago that he did a bad impression of. Hey, Boo Boo, <laughs> how's that going? <laughs> and uh, Huckleberry Hound was a cousin of his in North Carolina. So he was just doing that voice. And uh, on Mickey and the Roadster Racers, I do about 12 different characters on wow. that show. Whoa. And one is the mayor who was basically, he kind of has a voice that sounds kind of like this, who I'm basically doing Frank Morgan from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so that's my Frank Morgan impression. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then there's uh, Mr. Bigby, who's very foghorn, kind of foghorn leg hornish, you know, very similar to that. Uh, and there was uh, another one, Mr. McBilly, who I'm I'm basically doing Casey Kasem. <laughs> yeah. And then kind of every once in a while, hey, that's really bad, you know, and stuff like that. So you play with these things. And I used to do a lot of video games. I really don't do that because always on the last day of video games, they always have the impacts and the deaths. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. 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 Ah, you know, yeah. <laughs> I remember one uh, director, uh, one direction I got, and it was some video game where it was like zombies meet the army guys, and they said, okay, now the zombies ripped your arm off and he's beating you with it. <laughs> and what does that sound like? <laughs> ah, <you know. laughs> Stop beating me with oh, my arm, and, please. And so after a couple of hours of screaming like that, I started to sound like the Godfather. Yeah. You know? And so I kind of gave up most of the the video games uh, because I don't want to mess up Goofy in that light. 